Tropical Cyclone Veronica will track westward during today, close to Pilbara Coast, and is currently producing destructive winds and heavy rainfall west of the Port Hedland. The warning zone, Port Hedland to Mardi, including Port Hedland and Karatha and Barrow Island, adjacent inland areas, including Panoronica. Cancel zone is Port Hedland to Degray and intensity category 2 on the AU scale, category 1 on the Safra Simpson Hurricane scale. Winds near the centre of 100 km per hour with wind gusts to 140 km an hour. And located within 35 km at 20 decimal 4 degrees south, 117 decimal 7 degrees east estimated to be 95 km west of Port Hedland, 95 km east northeast of Karatha. Tropical Cyclone Veronica remains slow moving and the cyclone's core is lingering near the coast just east of Roebourne and west of Port Hedland and it's expected to weaken but remains at this point in time a Category 2 system. Veronica is forecast to weaken further during Monday morning and start to move towards the west. The system is forecast to weaken below tropical cyclone intensity during a Monday evening. Destructive winds with gusts exceeding 125 km an hour are occurring along the Pilbara case between Rayborn and west of Port Hedmond. Destructive winds are possible in Karatha from late morning during the afternoon. Gales will gust to 100 km an hour, expected in remaining parts between Port Hedland and Mardi, and may extend to adjacent inland areas, including Panoronica, from early Monday morning, and gales may extend to Barrow Island from Monday afternoon. The slow movement of the cyclone means that communities in the path of the cyclone should prepare to shelter from the destructive winds for an extended period during Monday. Gales are likely to contract from the east and east at Port Hendon during Monday morning. Widespread very heavy rainfall conduces to major flooding remains the possibility over the Pilbara coast adjacent inland areas during Monday and for people in Port Hedland they've been uh, bunkered down for the last 36 hours and on the screen is a look at the current track chart of the cyclone The Bureau of Meteorology has a storm force wind warning for the Pilbara Coast East and a gale warning also current for the Pilbara Coast West. And at this point in time, uh, Veronica is located 20 decimal 5 degrees south, 117 decimal 5 degrees east. There's 45 knots maximum winds and central pressure around 989 millibars, but that could be slightly higher. Now we have a look at a satellite imagery of the system, a couple of uh, tracks, and the NOAA floaters. Force 13's AU channel will continue to bring the latest uh, information along with the main channel. 
We also have ex tropical cyclone Trevor, and the Bureau has a few related warnings in place. And on the screen is the life of tropical cyclone Veronica up to a few hours ago. Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has the uh, cyclone uh, 20 decimal 4 degrees south, 117 decimal 7 degrees east. It's about 231 nautical miles east north east of Learmonth. Tracking southward at one knot over the last six hours. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery depicts a rapidly weakening system with deep convection shear to the southeast due to high 25 to 30 knots northwesterly vertical wind shear. A 37 gigahertz microwave image depicts shadow banding wrapping tightly into a well-defined low-level circulation centre which supports the current position with good confidence. The current position has been relocated slightly about 30 nautical miles north-northwest from the previous advisory. This is based on extensive analysis of microwave imagery, radar imagery, surface observations and ESCAT data. Radar imagery surface observations support the position over water with curved convective banding along the coast and winds for Port Headland and Beddoe iron are lined up with the convective bands. Service observations along the coast from Port Hedland and Rayborn Airport indicate gale force winds at 30 to 35 knots gusting 40 45 knots reflecting the rapid decay of the system. Tropical cyclone Veronica is embedded within the upper level westerlies with high vertical wind shear and is forecast to continue rapidly uh, weakening as it tracks west southwest over the next two days under the steering influence of the low level subtropical high position to the south. Additionally, Land interaction dry air entrainment will further weaken the system as the system tracks north of Learmonth. The dynamic models indicate enhanced easterly gradient winds at 25 to 30 knots over Learmonth. Overall, there's low confidence in the JTWC's forecast track due to uncertainty in the track and track speeds with 150 nautical mile spread in solution. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name Force13, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force13 on Skype, and my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.